Hi, my name is Patrick Frazier. I'm here with Steve Berglund, a professional wet cleaner and also the owner of Mastercraft Natural Cleaning. How are you doing today, sir? Good, Patrick. How are you? Nice I'm to be here. I'm great. So we're here today to talk about dry cleaning. Now, I've always pictured dry cleaning as liquid never touching the clothes. But what exactly is dry cleaning? Well, dry cleaning is solvent, and solvent is a chemical, and it's in a base tank, in a big cleaning machine, and the solvent comes out of the base tank into a filter, from the filter it comes into the wash wheel and the wheel turns, cleans the clothes, and then goes back down into the, through the button trap actually, and then back down into the base tank. Okay, so the liquid or the solvent is actually reused? Yes, uh-huh, yeah, it's reused, regular basis all day long. And what, what cleans the solvent to make it reusable? Well, every few days or even daily, it's, it's cooked off and uh, refurbished and of course it goes through the filters too. So it's like washing your clothes, draining the water into a bucket, pouring your filter back onto your new clothes, your clothes that you're washing again. Not quite that bad, but that's close. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah okay. that's close. That's interesting, I never knew that. Yeah. And uh, you actually do solvent free, wet cleaning. Right. So what, what's your process of cleaning the clothes? Well, we're professional wet cleaners and we use water. Mm -hmm. Water is the most environmentally friendly thing that you can use to clean clothes. Well, yeah, I mean, you can drink it, so... Yeah. About 25 years ago in Germany, they, they, they've always used this for a very long time. And this technology has come to the United States, and uh, uh, we've been using it for quite a while. We clean silks, wools, angoras, all fine garments. They come out just great. Really? Yeah. So, you, so you actually have veered off from the dry cleaning and the solvents and went into a wet cleaning. And what, what do you use to clean the clothes besides water? What else goes in there? Well, there's what we call surfactant. Surfactant is a fancy name for soaps. Oh, so it's soap? Yeah. Oh, okay. All different types of soaps. We've got, <laughs> there's uh, seven, seven different uh, uh, surfactants and soaps in the back of the machine and they're all put together with a computer and they all feed into 28 different programs and it uh, does a great job. Now, I know that solvents are chemical, so do solvents have to be disposed of a certain way? Or how does that work? Well, perchloroethylene has to be disposed of in a hazardous waste site. Okay. Some of the newer solvents uh, do not have to be disposed of in a hazardous waste site, but they're still solvents. All right, and uh, the soaps you use, it's natural, so it can be basically poured into a drain if you want it. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, well, that's yeah. good. So it's totally. environmental friendly. Yes. Uh, yeah, totally environmentally friendly, biodegradable, uh, just goes right down the drain. Right. This little science project that you're doing, and I noticed this fish tank in the back on the water and some canisters with some dirty liquid in it, and I was wondering, what, what exactly is this? Well, it occurred to me that our, our professional wet cleaning system does a much better job than the average dry cleaning. Mm -hmm. So I went to my closet and I found some older garments, some wool garments, lots of wool, and a, a, a wool sweater and some, some blazers and jackets. And I took them to the local dry cleaner and I had them dry clean it. And, and they, the, the, the dry cleaners, now these are the ones who are using the solvents and then using the, the same system where they reuse it and it gets filtered, that, that type of dry cleaning, right? Right, okay. yeah, yeah. And the solvent that they're using is, is uh, a new earth-friendly type of solvent. And so I had these garments cleaned. I brought them back to the plant here. I bought this fish tank. I put some water in it. Added a little bit of our surfactant. And so uh, this, this is the soap. Yeah, that's the soap. Nice clear soap. And uh, I, I, I put some garments in there. And I could not believe the color that everything turned. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. This, this, this one says dark gray suit. Yeah. That, that's what was left over after we did a dark gray suit. Wow. So what I thought we'd do is, 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 is we would get one of our garments and drop it in here and we'll add a little bit of the surfactant. So is that about a tablespoon of soap? Yeah, I'll put, put one and a half in there. Okay. And we'll, we'll mix it up a little. All right. And uh, so I'll get, I'll get one of the garments and we'll drop it in here and we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Sounds good to me. All right, let's do it, Steve. Okay. I'll get my cuffs wet. 
Well, well Steve, I noticed earlier that you had uh, these canisters filled with dirty water in it. Now, can this work with any clothes that are dry cleaned? It could, yeah. Okay, and this was a dark gray suit that you had dry cleaned and then dipped it in. Right. Okay, so uh, how long did you dry clean it before you dipped it into the bucket of water? Well, it was just dry cleaned into regular cleaners. Just like the day before? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, that yeah. is amazing. Well, as I'm looking back here, I'm noticing that uh, this fish tank's pretty dark and pretty dirty. And I mean, it's only been about four or five minutes, if even. That is amazing. Let's go ahead and pour one of these canisters so we can show everyone exactly what we got here. Okay. suit jacket this is this is kind of a steel blue steel blue steel blue well everyone I want you to see that that is five minutes and it's on my hands and it's disgusting I'm guilty of that I've been a, I've been a dry cleaner all my life I had no idea that that was left in the clothes and now you're not using solvent you're a solvent free natural wet cleaner a professional wet cleaner, so you've moved your business away from the dry cleaner. And I'm just glad yes. to know that someone is going to be cleaning my clothes and they are going to actually be clean. And I know that you were shocked to see this, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to be shocked to see this because I'm sure a lot of people don't even know that this is going on. I'm sure a lot of people that have own dry cleaners don't know about this. Right. So, I mean, this is very educational to me, and I'm sure it's educational to a lot of people. So, I want to sincerely say thank you for uh, taking your time out of your day to actually sit there and go, I wonder what if I did put this in a fish tank. And look, <laughs> it's a pleasure.